Kimberly again. Hello. So now we are going to take some comfrey that we picked yesterday as well, correct? Yes, but this comfrey, rather than laying it out overnight, I went ahead and just put it in the refrigerator to keep it more on the fresh side. Uh huh. Are making poultices. Okay. So ideally, I might want to make okay. my poultices. Nice and fresh. Um, the day I pick it, but sometimes you don't have time to both pick it and process it in the same day. So if you want it to stay fresh, you can just put it in a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator. Good idea. <laughs> so yeah, I find I love to harvest things, but um, I don't, I, sometimes I forget that I'm gonna have to do all the processing as well. So Good point. it's nice to have some techniques for keeping your things fresh, at least for a day or so. But remember when you're harvesting that you're going to want to process them within the next few days. <laughs> Good tip. Always think of what you're going to do with the plants ahead of time, which will often help you realize how much you should pick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like if you're not going to if you're not going to process dandelion flowers in the same day you pick them, don't pick them. <laughs> Although we did freeze some because John says he's going to make some dandelion wine for us this year. <laughs> oh, you're not going to give it away because when I make the wine, I'm going to have the illusion that it's fresh and I just was out there picking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not giving away my secrets. <laughs> All, All right. right, so what we're doing here is we're going to make some poultices. Um, so what I'm doing is just chopping it really oh, coarse. Haley needs uh, help with the bathing suit. Okay. You can go Hold do that. <laughs> <laughs> bathing suit on? <laughs> Alright, so we just chop it coarsely and then we're going to put it in the Vitamix or blender, whatever you have. Yep, this is just a blender on Fancy steroids. blender. <laughs> yeah, we got it as a wedding gift, so. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> And then we're going to add a little bit of water. This is mostly to help the blender or Vitamix be able to chop this plant material up. Yep. A little water always helps the blender work <laughs> better. So, so far we just have water and chopped up comfrey in here. And, and we're going to just it up. This is what poultice making is. <laughs> yep, poultice making is just chopping up plant material and Mashed putting it on. Mashed up plants. Mashed up plants, technically. Nothing fancy. Oh, oh right. got done there. Yep, a little fast forward in there for you. <laughs> you have to watch it blend. Mm -hmm. All right, so now what we're going to do so is. Looks like we're condensing a whole like long workshop into just a few minutes because we can fast <laughs> in the miracle of editing. Let me look inside here just to get an idea of the consistency. You can even see there the consistency. It's gloppy on its own. So here we go. I'm Take a big old bowl. Pour it out into this bowl. The spatulas are great but Really, if you want to get it all, you got to get your hands dirty. You got to get your hands dirty. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So now we've got a big bunch of comfrey glop. <laughs> and in order to make this stick together a little bit better, I'm going to add some flour to it. Oh, okay. So this is just unbleached white flour. You can use wheat flour, it doesn't really matter. It's just a way to um, get the comfrey to stick So that's together. about one good handful pretty much, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or probably. One good handful from, or actually it looks like a little less than what does that look like to you? About one good handful? Yeah. Yeah, one good handful based on what you saw in the blender. <laughs> but there's no exactness, so don't ask <laughs> us what the measurement is. <laughs> you get the idea. Making I might actually put in a little bit more there. Okay. So, well, that's a good point right there. If it's not, not enough, you can always add more. So start with less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That looks good. Give me some of that. <laughs> put that on some crackers. Mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, looks like a big pesto. So we made some space, and now we've just taken a piece of a uh, cotton dish cloth and we're gonna an old one <laughs> and just an old cloth any kind of old cloth it can be a cut up pillowcase it can be a sheet right anything yeah really 
Okay, so something like that you're not there. interested in using anymore. Yeah. <laughs> for anything else, but comfrey bolt of this. So what I'm gonna do is just take a dollop, a bunch, <laughs> maybe a cup, <laughs> a cup of comfrey bolus. Put it there in the middle of the claw, and then we're just gonna wrap in the sides. This is where your southwestern burrito making skills come in. Here. <laughs> That's right. I'm from New Jersey. She was surprised to know how to really wrap a burrito properly when we <laughs> got together. Um, okay, so. So we just wrap it up like that. And that's done? And that's a poultice. And then you can, um, if you have a condition that you want to use it for fresh, you could just use it just like this. Um, so before, so then, and then you'll freeze those though. You I mean, that's the thing. You can make a bunch of these now and freeze them, right? Right, right. But I'm just going to say like if, uh, well, when Rowan broke his arm, we used poultices to help heal the bone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's good for that. It's also very good for just sore muscles. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have one of those that you want to use it for right away, you can do it like this. Otherwise, um, you just uh, take a piece of wax paper to put in between. And then we'll just make a little stack of those and we can put them in a Ziploc bag like, like this. that. It just came out of the freezer. <laughs> These are some of our old frozen ones. So let's so say... Wax um, paper in between. Okay, and, there's uh, wax paper in between. That helps them separate a little bit more, but they still are pretty tight together. So what I do usually to separate them is just run some warm water over them and then just take a knife and push down in there until they pop apart. Mm. And then you can use them either cold if uh, you feel like you want something cold on the sore muscle or you can um, heat them up in the microwave or in your oven. You can just put it in a little glass like bread pan with a bit of water in it and heat it up in the oven. Ha have you used them for both ways, for hot and cold? Can you give us an example? What's the last time you used one of these? Um, the last time I used them was when I threw my back out, and so um, I felt like I wanted heat on there, so I took it out and, um, well, I actually had somebody else take it out because I couldn't move. <laughs> heat it up for me, and then I put that right on my back. Warm, okay, and warm. Cultist. So uh, then, how about in a cold situation? <clears throat> I just more use my intuition in that moment. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe a burn or something? Ah! <laughs> yeah, if you have a burn, you might want it um, on cold. So you just take it off just like this and put it right on top of the, the burn and then that would help take the heat out of it. Okay, so um, so then we talked about burns and sore backs, achy muscles and broken bones. Broken bones. And you can refer to your little ebook you put together that's in the ebooks section on the Herb Mentor site. Uh, dot com site if you would like some more information on this and to see some step-by-step -step in photos Anything else we uh, have to cover here in making comfrey poultices comfrey leaf poultices? I don't think so. That's about it. All right. Thanks a lot Kimberly. Yeah, okay one more bit for that <laughs> um, So what do you want to show here? Well, just that you can see how the comfrey is coming through the cloth so You don't want to wrap it so much that you're not getting the comfrey through the cloth Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good point. <laughs> I forgot to mention here, Kimberly, as she's finishing her poultices up with the rest, that um, this was leftover comfrey from the project we did today, making oil and, and making poultices. And we're just going to take that and dry that. So we'll use all of the parts of the plant that we picked. Just a little tip that you can always use it all. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs>